Uh, hello, this is a note on the, um, on the concept and application of danger bearings. Uh, danger bearings are sometimes uh, called a clearance bearing at, uh, in this case. And this would be, uh, again, it's a pilot, basic uh, standard piloting technique, and these things are most valuable if you happen to lose a GPS, or GPS is not working for any reason and then we're back to standard piloting. But without the GPS, we don't have a nice track across the chart, we don't have our position, so we're back to old-fashioned navigation. And so that's, uh, uh, and then again, we're gonna look at a case here where a simple case, uh, and this is not necessarily the ideal case, but it'll illustrate, illustrate the principle. But you wanna go, your boat's out here somewhere, and you wanna come into this pass, and this, this general technique works best when you have a prominent landmark that you can see in the daytime or at night or uh, in the fog a uh, bright light you can see through the fog and that and that's the case here so here we have a light it says it's a four mile light let's just double check the scale here uh, ruler tool you see this boat's out here about oh two 1.7 miles or something you know 1.7 miles so uh, that um, that that light is nice in view, no problem. Now it turns out there's another light here, another bright light here. So in principle, as this boat comes in here, uh, it could take a position fix continually, and that would obviously be the thing to do. If you know we're worrying that there's current here that's going to set us, and in particular, let's say we're worried there's some kind of reef here with no light on it, and uh, we're worried that we're going to get set down into this as we come into this uh, channel. Uh, and so we'll set up these bearings. And so we would start out, let me just say we're, we're here and we want to go in there. So our route would be, uh, let's see, I could do a, with this, I'm using the program QTVLM, edit a pathway. Let me just say, I'll just make up this, take one here that's here, and I don't need it. I'm just going to call that, that's my route or my heading there and I say okay and I'm out here somewhere and I want to go into here so this would this in a sense would be well I want to go in the middle of the channel here so that would be the heading that I want to do somewhere somewhere like that uh, which is what is that heading that's a 238 would be the boat the heading I would steer coming in there something like that Whoops, this guy, what's here? Uh, delete. Yes, okay. So that's roughly the path I would take in 238. So let me just, I could just edit this and just say uh, course 238, and these are set to magnetic, okay. So that's course 238M coming in here. And then if I wanted, you know, just, let me just get that out of the way, something like that. So that's where we're going to come in. But now we're going to use this light. And so here's what, what the trick is. So let's make another, we're going to draw. Now this could be done on paper. Now see if I'm on paper, I'm just drawing a line in there with a paper and draw the line and go to, go to the uh, uh, compass, compass rows and figure out the heading. Uh, but I'm doing this with electronic chart. Same thing. Now another one, let's say pathway. Uh, Let's say edit pathway uh, north limit. Let's do it that way and say append that. And now I'm going to look at this light here. So there's the bearing to that light, and that's coming up here. Now that's the end of that. So this is, um, this is the north limit. And le let's just say there looks like there's a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of a... Uh, coral or well, it wouldn't be coral here but just rocks or something out there so there's that and so this is uh, now let, okay so that's going out that way let me just right click edit and then uh, reverse this okay so when you're measuring it on your compass rows you see if I give myself a little freedom there see and this is the bearing to this light we forget we forget this actual heading here Right? We don't care too. We don't care too much about that for right now. But we want. We're looking at just the bearing to the, as this boat comes in here. We're going to watch with the compass the bearing to this light, and 
here is this this heading right here is 233 and what we don't want look here's 233 now if here's this going to get uh, this is getting um, getting smaller you see here's 233 233 and then you're going up here now there's 231 see there I'm hitting the land even but I don't I don't want to hit here so we set this at about you know at about 233 234 something like you know 233 like that and so we do not want to get when we're when we're coming in here we don't want the bearing to that light to ever be uh, less than this so this would be um, you could put this name on it and then this is uh, uh, not less than 233 M like that okay so not, and you can always just you know with your rulers or something oh now that reversed on me again edit um, reverse. okay not less than 233 so you see the, up here is 225 that's less than 233 and so here is the um, here's a 233 now same way down here on this side we could go down let me make another one this would be uh, edit pathway south I'll just call it the south limit append and again I'll put one here and one out here somewhere and that's all I just need to get those lines on the chart for now this has got it should be right on top of the light like that and now here this is what we don't want to hit here well we can put a safety margin here by just putting a safety margin there but let's just say we don't want to go we want to come in we want to stay in this cone here and so this you see this bearing is now that's the wrong direction um, 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 um edit the pathway uh, reverse okay so what's this pathway that's 240 that's 240 something like there something like you know, maybe 242, 242, something like that. All right. So we do not want, and now what do we don't want? We don't want that number bigger than, you see, we don't want it bigger than 242. So you would come in here, and then we could label this if we wanted to, uh, not more than 242M okay like that and then here we go in we we we're going in with this course here which is um, oh, let me, I, I've got to figure out what reverses these every time I touch them but anyway you're coming in on a heading of about 238 and then at the same time when the boats here we just watch the heading to this now the boat could be heading exactly this way in fact, when, when this is over, I'll do a simulation of this to show you how this works. But anyway, we have our guidelines. And again, in, real, in the real world, you would be watching this because this is fast and instant. You don't have to plot anything. You don't have to plot anything. But what you would do is as you come in here, and if it's foggy and you're concerned about the current, then you would just periodically take a bearing here to see where you are along that line. Every time you take a bearing to this, you know what line you're on. It's somewhere between here and here. You almost don't have to plot it. This is 238, 233, 242. But then this would mark off where you are, how you progress when you're bearing on down this way. So that's a, that's a bearing line. That would be a danger bearing. And it means that in this case, to not hit this side, you want this to be not less than 233. So 231, you know, so when, now you can say that other ways, but this is a conventional way that it's said. I always have to just double, you know, with this way. See, this says, you just go up here. See, when I'm up here, I'm pointing more down. See, here's 180, right? And then I'm pointing down. Here's 225, like that. And so this is uh, up here. I don't want it to be less than that. Right. Okay. So that's a way. That's a that's a danger bearing. And then I I can do another plot, but I may just do a simulation of this. This program has a very nice simulator, and we can sim we can turn off all the fancy GPS navigation and just look at the instruments we got, uh, course and speed, 
and then no tracks, no trails, no fixes, and just drive this boat in there and see how this works. I'll try that in a minute. 